Hi, and welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner, and I'm going to press a button now. So I hope you're well. This is this thing I started doing on a Monday, which was called what I've been working on at the weekend, which <laughs> doesn't exactly roll off the roll off the tongue. And then now it's called Steve's Weekend Magic. I don't know. That doesn't that sounds like a bad magic show, doesn't it? Steve's Weekend Magic, ladies and gentlemen. Come and see some magic trickery. Uh, but uh, that's not what it is. It's basically I'm. It, it's I suppose it's kind of to make myself look at magic at the weekend. <laughs> that isn't just the stuff I'm reviewing because I found that I'm kind of yeah. Which is uh, don't get me wrong. It's it's a good complaint to have, isn't it? I'm I'm reviewing too much magic and I'm working on too much new magic. But to actually you know to learn magic just clearly for the joy of it. So I thought uh, if, I, if it would make me go, well, if I want to talk about anything over the weekend, I've got to do something over the weekend, especially this weekend because I've had the kids and it's half term and it's all that kind of stuff and nobody can go out anywhere, so we're all stuck in. Uh, and, and it was really nice, actually, to just kind of be, sit, make myself go away, go, you know, give my kids the iPad and the Switch and go, right, do what you want. I'm going to now go away for two hours and sit at my laptop and, and do this. And so I thought I'd just, just report back. So it's kind of a review of stuff, but not really. The first is the, well, the main thing I want to talk about is the Eric Jones uh, masterclass. And before I do, let me just check that we are, we are all working. Give me a sign if anybody can hear me, check that my comments are working and stuff like that. Of course, this was last minute. This is, we go live every Thursday night at about 5 UK. But I fit these in when I can. Of course, I've had to run over to the office because the kids are at home. Someone's got the kids for an hour, so I can just sort of come and come and do a little bit of work and and do this. Uh, so obviously, this was only 20 minutes ago I put this out. So it's uh, it, uh, that I was going to do this live. So I'm surprised if anybody's here. And the fact that there are there's anybody watching is is amazing. Thanks, Danny. Uh, all good. So I. I took myself off and I watched the Eric Jones Vanishing Ink Masterclass. And I'm again, I've said this before, I'm very aware that I'm, there's a lot of Vanishing Ink stuff. I'm not getting sent stuff from Murphy's and people like that from the States at the moment. Uh, I don't know why, I don't know if it's a post or whatever, but that's fine. But So I'm getting most of my stuff from Vanishing Ink. And actually, I can't really, and, and of course they're doing, and, and from, sorry, independent people that are sending me it. So obviously John Allen uh, sent me something. The guys from Gentleman's Magic have sent me their thing recently and people are developing apps so I'm getting stuff from creators and from Vanishing Ink and that's how it's working. So I'm watching a lot of Vanishing Ink stuff and the masterclass I just it it it, it you forget how how nice it is sometimes to just be taught something live and, and even though of course it's not just me it's not like a one-to-one -one coaching session I do the live sessions on Card Magic Course. As we're thinking about it, please check out cardmagiccourse.com. Of course, I always forget this on the lives. Like and subscribe. Cardmagiccourse.com is my online Card Magic Course where we do uh, live sessions every week and there's over 400 videos all from me teaching way back to 2013. And I still make new videos every month, including the Faro one that I've just done and the, uh, the Card Ma uh, Royal Road to Card Magic Course, which I'm going to be building over the next probably about two years. So that's kind of... I'm drip feeding that out there and creating it as we go. But talking about the live sessions, I do live sessions a lot. I teach a lot. I run courses a lot and I do different things. But to actually be there, I forget how nice that is. And I sat and watched the, um, the Eric Jones. Uh, I've seen the Eric Jones first one. I watched that there. So even though I, I wasn't there live, I felt like I was there live because I was, I was watching the rerun of the live, if you see what I mean. So... Uh, and it was lovely. I, I, it was. I, I'm really getting back into coin magic, starting with sort of discovering Danny Goldsmith stuff, and 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 I'm really enjoying the challenge of that, and kind of wanting to go back to basics, as I do quite often with cards, and and kind of work on sort of getting in and out of palms, um, working on stuff for you know for Zoom that that is slight of hand based, it isn't just kind of the, the sort of uh, Zoom specific stuff that people are doing. And seeing what works, and it was really nice to see. And I saw Eric do a um, do a thing for a channel in the US uh, about a month ago, where he was doing sleight of hand card, card magic. You know, he did a Rubik's cube in a mouth thing, but he uh, coin magic, sorry, and he did his free fly 
uh, and some really lovely one coin stuff. And, and I've always really liked him. I like that he is solid in a way that his his magic is, you know, sometimes when you see people that have got DVDs out and they're kind of named and you see them do stuff and you, it's not that they're sloppy, but you sometimes get a little bit of sort of almost disappointment with Eric. He's just solid. His stuff's really, really solid, the way he thinks about it, the way he communicates it. Uh, and he's a very good teacher. He's really clipped. You know, I think he spent time in the military, so he's got that clip, that really clear way of explaining things. And, and there's all, also a kind of, um, you connect to him. He, 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 you kind of relate to him, but he's just really, he's very respectful. And he's very polite. You know, when I ask a question, he's always like, thanks so much for asking. It's just, it's just nice to spend time in the company, of, of even though, again, it felt live, it wasn't live. But, uh, and this coin stuff, brilliant. I love his metal uh, collection, you know, the going from the basics, and that is kind of what he did here. He started off, you know, going, you know, ha doing the basics, classic palm, finger palm, getting in and out of them, JW grip, which actually you, you would argue isn't a basic, uh, and then quick, and also going into the history of them, you know, and, and the nowhere palm, you know, that how did that come about? What's the difference between that and the edge grip and all that? So it was, it was, and, and the, um, oh, I can't remember the other one, but. And, and that was really, really useful to me. And actually, strange, knowing the history of the Nowhere Palm made me kind of realise why it is where it is, and it kind of helped with the practical application of it as well. So I love that. Um, he then went on to do a Scott Robinson routine, which he, you can do, which is called Loose Change, which you can do if you just borrow a, a you know, in, the, in England, it would be a penny or a 5p and a 10p or something like that. We borrowed um, coins, which was nice. Then he went into his free fly routine. But really useful for me was he does this triangulation thing where he explains how to use angle sensitive magic in a, in a real world scenario. So how do you look at an audience and know what you can get away with when using things like the JW grip and things like that. And by the way, do ask any questions if you want in a minute about anything at all, not just this. Uh, this is just a little check-in and just to um, just to kind of, you know, know that we're all not just sitting in rooms on our own, not talking to anybody. Basically, it's I need the company and I need to do something before my brain rots. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's half time and the kids are home. Uh, so that was great. I, I really, these, um, and I'm sure it's not just vanishing, but, you know, every, lots of people are doing you know, similar sort of things. But I would say any time you can join in a, a kind of, on a live coaching or even pre-recorded live coaching session that is done live, recorded live, I really recommend it. And I do love the at-the-table lectures. I haven't seen loads of them, but the similar thing. I like seeing uh, people, the, the people in this situation teaching and, importantly, being able to answer questions. You know, Eric went into stuff in the questions that obviously wasn't on his list of stuff to talk about, so he went into how, how to not just adapt things for Zoom, and for virtual setting, but also adapt him for stage. So he works on Disney cruise ships, and he was talking about how, how do you do, like when you're using cameras and coin work, you know, how do you make that play? Because obviously you don't want an hour of a camera stuck on a close-up match, so how do you use that? And it was really interesting the way he, he shared how he kind of makes that come alive on stage on a, on a, um, on a cruise ship. Uh, and, and also, obviously, people are asked questions that you will probably have in your, in your mind that he, he won't cover. So it's so those Q and A's at the end are so important, and that's kind of what makes it at the end. I'm going to try and watch as many of these as possible, but like I say, it is quite difficult, and that's why I have to force myself to do it by doing things like this. And I wanted to talk about Memdeck because I am someone that really struggles with memori sort of memorizing stuff. I'm, I'm, it doesn't come easy to me. It's it's a real challenge, and for years because of that, I didn't do any I just thought it's not for me not just a memorization by the way I think that's probably the easiest part of it weirdly enough it's the getting it super smooth but it's also the the mathematics that is that is sometimes part of some Mendek routines not not all of them obviously but it's um, and and I've I've sort of someone's laughing at me on a comment the other day saying oh come on mate you know you you do an invisible deck sometimes when I remember learning the invisible deck and freezing and getting the sum wrong you know adding up to 14, which I don't do now, to be honest, but, but my, I'm really numerically bad, really bad. So what I've done, and, and I think this is very, you know, I'm 47 years of age, and I'm doing not only Memdeck practice, but I've done a lot of practice this weekend uh, with mathematics, with simple math, with, with subtracting quickly, and I'm sitting and doing some, I found some online stuff on um, Khan Academy, you know, which is probably made for kids mostly, GCSE age, 
learning how to subtract and add quickly in my head. I also got an audio book off of Audible. So if you ask someone that, that has told themselves that story, which I did, of, I, I just don't do numbers, I don't do them. Actually, I'm now kind of going, well, I can. The reason I don't do them is I've not practiced them. And actually, I think there are some really incredible Mamdek effects where you just have to do simple maths, which I can do, but when I'm under pressure, I kind of crumble a bit. Um, like the classic, you know, any card at any number at any Monaco, it's just, it's a pretty simple sum, but you've got to really be able to do it while still maintaining a sort of performance persona, which for me is really, really a real struggle. So I've, I've gone back and treated that sort of mathematics practice as my practice, as Mendek practice, which even over the weekend I'm improving. Like I'm someone that I don't, I don't know my times tables. I'm almost embarrassed to say, but I can, obviously I can get there, but I don't go, you know, you know, I don't know, uh, 16 sevens I can't just go bang but I'm starting to learn to do that which is helping as well but what is also good and I'm just going to get the name right is the app I've been using which I've been using for a long time actually for mnemonica they also do an Aronson one which is the ultimate mnemonica trainer I haven't used all the Memdeck apps but I think that this the ultimate mnemonica trainer is really really good who's the developer on this um, it just says cube mg llc so uh, I think it's great because it, it, re it gamifies it in a way that is addictive. It's not just, you know, some, some people gamify learning and, and it, it doesn't feel very, very fun. But this, I just can't put it down. I'm, I'm at the bit where you've got to really quickly get the card before it and the card, you know, what comes before this, what comes after this. And it's, it's really good. It's really solidified. Again, that being able to do mnemonic uh, under pressure, which I think is a really useful thing. So there are two recommendations. Um, the links will, are below for these. Uh, I'm just going to see if the... Uh, I think I'm zooming where the magician can answer questions is the way forward, I think. Yeah, from Gid. Hey, Gid. How you doing? Hi, James. Hey, Danny. And hey, Joe. Uh, good to see you. Um, yeah, I, I think, it, I think the, the question and the Q&A bits are the really powerful bits because that's when they go off on tangents. So, so you could argue that some of the stuff they're teaching you may be able to find on other lectures, but it's the, it's the Q&A. And that's where I, f I really pick up a lot, of, a lot of stuff about practice, about how to practice and all that, all those kind of little bits that actually enhance our magic more than just learning the tricks. Uh, and Eric was good at explaining both, actually. Uh, and the, they have done the second one of Eric this Sunday, which I missed. I'm kind of one week be be behind, so I'm going to watch, try and catch up with all of them. Um, so if that's everything, again, I'm not sure what time to do these on Mondays. I know it's not a good time for certain people in the world and, and I should have a bit of um, a little bit more notice rather than 20 minutes. Uh, but hopefully people will watch it afterwards. But thank you so much. It's good that there were some people here that I could talk to. I really, really appreciate it. So uh, if you like this kind of stuff, do please l let people know. A lot of people keep saying to me, well done on 5,000 subscribers. Uh, you should have more subscribers. And I'm, I'm kind of going, I, I can only do what I've got time to do, which at the moment with the current situation is limited. So if you know anybody that, that you might not have heard of the channel, it'd be really, really useful. And of course, check out cardmagiccourse.com, my online card magic course, and uh, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. All right, everyone. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.